Hello everyone, this is Wolf Den the Gamer, signing up for another Wolf Den's Opinions episode. Today's game is going to be Inside, a game that I released uh, a while back. I don't know the year exactly, so I'm not going to get into that. But anyway, this game is actually pretty good. I actually played this game recently because I figured, well, I need I need a content for the for my for my channel for the series. So I figured oh, I might as well start with this because it's short, and it did it didn't take me too long to beat the game. And I think it's like close to two hours if you know what you're doing. So, anyway, I'm not gonna talk too much about the game. I'll try. To, I want to try to keep this, keep the keep the episode short, and I'm gonna try going forward to keep the keep the series short as possible. So, of course, it's not always a guarantee, but I'll try. So anyway, uh, the first thing I want to talk about the game is pretty much the, uh, pretty much this, pretty much how the story turns out. I'm not gonna talk too much about that because I don't want to spoil. Uh, the major scenes. There will be some spoilers in this video, so please be aware of it. So anyway, about the inside, uh, you play as a unnamed child. And no, I have not figured out the name. And no, there's probably some video out there that some fan theories, but I I haven't watched I have not watched any fan theories for the, for the making of this video. So I'm going by so I'm going by what I do enjoy about the game. So anyway, so anyway, you play as a uh, unnamed uh, unnamed kid. Who has to survive in a dystopian uh, 19, 1984 environment that's inspired by 1984. Have you ever read? I never read 1984. I heard about it. I'm scared to read it. So, until I read it, which I don't know if I want to, but I may. So, I'll leave that up. Leave that out. But anyway, you have, anyway the kid has to survive uh, in, a, in a world. I'm going to say it's probably Poland. Well, I'm gonna say it's probably set in Poland. I, I don't know. It doesn't really set. I can definitely tell it's. It had, I can definitely tell it was set in the, in the in Europe, most like mostly the Eastern European state of some sort, but never never says. It. But I did like I do like the world. It's grounded. It has a really good atmosphere, especially especially the graphics, which I'll talk about which I'll talk about next. So anyway. I'll say visual design is is really good. It has it really excels with the art style. I like it. it's not it's grounded reality, but it's but it's done in a way that it's still stylish of its own. Uh, I think the car palette is pretty good and moody. It definitely sets a good atmosphere. So if you want, if, so if you're looking for a good atmospheric game to play, it's definitely one of the best. I think I that I have I have played personally. It runs fine on my on my on my comparable no problem. So my compare specs will my compare type will be in the in the description, just for comparison. Because like I said, this but I would definitely say this compare this game doesn't it's not that graphically intensive. You I think you can do just some settings, but I don't think you need to do much. And I uh, so now I'm going to talk about my favorite part of this of the series that I'm going to try to talk about uh, the gameplay. Well, the gameplay is pretty much it's pretty much a 2D cinematic platformer. If you don't know what cinematic platformer is, uh, let me try to explain it in a short, short term possible. It's pretty much a, uh, pretty much is it's usually a 2D game that has uh, grounded physics and as tough as nails gameplay, uh, more linear, and and also relies entirely on set pieces. Uh, some games do like flashback, uh, another world, or out of this. Out of this world or another world or whatever it is, I may talk about another world in the future. Flashback, I may not even touch with a fifty foot barge pole because uh, I don't know. I'm just not into flashback. And of course, of course the first game that is, that is, I think is quote unquote simac platformer. There's probably others that are way back. So until then, I'm going by that. But Prince of Persia, the first game, was a simac platformer and definitely revolutionized the uh, the genre forever. Uh, you can definitely say the 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 original Tomb Raider games are a type of cinematic platformer, but I'll but like I said that that, that I think it is a 3D platformer that took elements from it, but it's not true. It's not a true cinem uh, cinematic platformer. I consider it 2D. If it's 2D and a 2D plane, then then that's considered it. But I'll definitely say Inside is one of the best uh, cinematic platformers I ever played. Uh, I love the set pieces, which. Which that's one thing I like about the game. I'll say the, the controls are really tight. They're very simple. You got a jump command, uh, action command that 
grabs objects, pulls switches, you know, that type of stuff. There is no combat. You have to rely entirely on instinct and a bit of stealth and, and, some, and, and environmental puzzles here and there in order to survive. I'll definitely say you're not going to see too much of the swim mechanic because it ties in with, a, with an enemy in the game, which I don't want to spoil for you. And plus, I don't even know if I can show it on YouTube because, well, let's just say they don't wear clothes. That's all I'm going to say there without staying nicely for that. So anyway, so anyway, uh, but I will definitely say the game, the com the, c the controls are really good. You know, the really, really solid controls. I have no problems with the controls. The swimming controls are pretty nice and it's really nice, really nice to play. And I do love the, es the, st the gradual escalation on the challenges. It's not too hard. Uh, the checkpoint system is, is I'll say it's pretty generous. It doesn't really punish you that much with the checkpoint system. I feel, I feel like it's fair. It doesn't, I've never once gotten a situation that I was too far and I died in like section and it sets me back far. I never had that moment. It is, some, it is a trial and error game, but it's not brutal. So you may, I think it's good for new players to, to get into it. There are some, there are a few puzzles that will, does take you a bit of thinking outside of box in order to figure out, but once you figure it out, it's, it's really nice. I think, I think my favorite segment has to be the, uh, the, has to be the, uh, the sections where you get to, you get to manipulate a group of people, which does tie in into a theme, which, which I think it's a rising up theme or something like that. Like I said, fan theories, that's up to you. I never got too much into that. I'm not going to go into that because I can, I can try to explain it for hours. So, yeah, but I do love those sections. I think gameplay-wise, it's really well implemented, and it does, it does, it is really good. So, anyway, well, and lastly, I'm going to talk about the, the, the visual side of things. I Like I said, the graphics are really good, and uh, the one thing I do love is the water effects. I think the water effects for uh, for an indie game, or I, I think this game has, has one of the best water effects, uh, especially early on when the rain when the rain uh, dripples on the on the surface, it really I can really tell they put a lot of work into the physics to get it right. And also, every time you dive in, it it actually shows a bunch of bunch of uh, air air bubbles, and it, it does disappear eventually. And that's one thing I do like about the game is, like I said, gameplay came in good and all. And lastly, I'm gonna talk about the uh, I'll talk a little bit about the end act. And the only thing I'm going to say about it, which I'm not going to show it because I did record the entire game, but I'm not going to show that part, is, well, let's just say it is insane, and that's all I can say about it. It's really insane, and it really coughs, coughs, catches you off guard. And it, and I think there's, there's some symbolism on, on in the final act and throughout the game, so obviously, you know, it's there. So, anyway, uh... That's all the time I have for this for this uh, Wolf Dan's opinion. So anyway, if you do if you do like this uh, series, and you, I will recommend uh, commenting and liking this video. Uh, I, I I'm open to any suggestions as long as it's within within my budget and within my time frame. And depending on uh, and depending on the game, because there'll be certain games I'm just not gonna play with fifth foot dart with the fifth foot barge pole. And also, please subscribe to this channel, because every subscription does matter if you want to see uh, content like this in the future. So, I do I do appreciate it. And so, I'm not sure about release schedules, so I am I am trying to uh, to work on, work, work on that. I don't have any concrete release schedules at this time, but I try to, you know, I'll try to release the video as uh, early as possible. Probably no earlier than 7 a.m. Eastern Savings Time, and probably no later than um, than uh, 4 4 p.m. at Eastern Savings Time. So within that time frame, that I'm pretty much going to try to release these uh, videos on going forward. Because well, obviously, because well, I'm I'm trying to gauge what's the best time to release videos, pretty much. So, but like I said, any suggestions and comments on how to you know. To slightly improve the videos and stuff. I do appreciate that. So until then, I'll see you all in the next Wolf Tastic video. This is Wolf Tan, was Wolf Dan the Gamer. Signing off. Bye bye.